Hey pals and gals, uh, we're going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial today and this is just a whatever kind of tutorial, uh, just a little playing around with Photoshop and maybe I'll show you guys some couple tips and tricks that I've been uh, doing lately. Um, I shot this image about two weeks ago or so, so I'm going to tweak it a little bit, enhance it some and uh, send that out for prints. So let's begin. The first thing I want to do is make a copy of my background layer and I can do that with control or command depending if you're a Mac uh, J and that will create a copy of your layer you could also do the same thing by clicking on your background layer and dragging it to the new layer icon and you get a background copy um, either way it will work so the first thing I want to do is straighten uh, this line because it's kind of distracting for me because this wasn't done on a tripod so it's tilting just a bit so I'm going to go to the analysis uh, panel here and I'm going to get the ruler tool I'm going to click from this point to this point over here uh, to get a straight line even though I don't this is not a particularly straight line here uh, so I'm going to click on this point and drag it onto the other points and let go and then I'm going to hit the button on top where it says straighten and it's going to do all the work for me so let's take a look at the before and after I'm going to look at my uh, history palette and I see here the the rotation and the crop is already done for me so that's pretty nice that's a handy little trick so now the next thing I want to do is that I want to have a more pronounced lens flare here and I'm going to just keep working on this background copy layer. I'm going to go into my filter and then I think I'm going to do, let's see, a render and then lighting effects or lens flare. Uh, lens flare. Because I already said I wanted to do that. So let that open. And then I'm going to just, you know, take a look at some of my options here. Uh, movie Prime. I kind of like Movie Prime. Um, gives you a very edgy kind of lines, but I don't think it worked for this particular image. Maybe I might actually leave it where it was. Something like that. That kind of works. looks good let's see oh it's not bad okay I might have to tone that down a little bit later but I think for now this works for me so now what I also want to do is maybe change the color um, of the light uh, hitting the hair so I'm gonna gonna make a new layer and let's make a gradient I'm gonna click double click on my uh, little gradient area here I'm going to go for the rainbow color, well, the transparency rainbow. And I'm going to remove yellow and green. And I think I'll move this over this way. Maybe let's make this a purple. Okay. Let's see how that looks. I'll do that. Basically I just clicked and drag where I wanted my uh, colors to get going. I'll do something like that. Okay, let's see how that looks. I'm going to change my layer mode to hue. That looks actually pretty good. I think it's a little too much purple. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and change that. I'm going to go back in here and even all these colors out like so I'm just clicking and dragging trying to even out my colors yes I could do this mathematically with the location and putting them in precise things but it's not the point of your workflow is that it moves quickly so let's make it move quickly <laughs> okay let's see how this looks now well, that's pretty interesting I like that it's all a, also color casting um, on the lens flare, which I might end up removing in the end. What do you think? 
I think it's equally dramatic for my, my personal taste. And actually, I'm going to tweak. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. I'm going to hit the Control T for transform. And I'm going to whiten the my colors here. There we go, because I had a little crop in color. That looks good. I'm going to hit a little check. That's fine. I still can't decide if I would like it, you know, dramatic, like so or not. So we'll see that later. Um, this is basically the end of the tutorial. I don't really have much to say. This is a pretty short one. It's just a little, a little detailing, a little, uh, let's see what I can do. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye.